Hey guys, welcome to Kai's Cast, where I play games and well, the games play me. So today I'm very excited for the game we're gonna play. It's the last part of Killer Frequency. I know it's a sad day, but it's a great day because we can finally end this journey that you guys all joined me on. And if you weren't here on the journey, you just click on this video. I can help you guys with that. I got you. Click on my little profile picture, go to my channel, then you hit that subscribe button, then you go down below to my videos and there will be a playlist called Killer Frequency. Go ahead, watch it from one to now and you're all caught up got it great good let's just get into the game and let's just end our journey with forrest and peggy <laughs> i should have known hey we only had a do it when we hear the okay, little whistle it's time to take a call this is forrest nash and you're listening please help me my name is casey moore i'm a 25 nancy drive my best friend's been stabbed he's he's bleeding everywhere i don't know what to do please help me Trust no one. I'm trusting no one, bro. What Somebody's happened? been stabbed? Can, can you tell me what happened? We've been out at the reservoir. We were heading back to his place when we heard this whistling all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. He just started freaking out. He screamed at me, told me to hide. I'd never seen him like that. And I, I just panicked and ran and hid in a bush. Oh no. Forrest. Then what happened? He went up the road and talked to someone. I couldn't really hear or see anything. It sounded like he might have known the person. Mm-hmm. And they just stabbed him. Was it a woman? Casey, was he talking to a woman? I don't know. They had a mask and wore all black. That's, what That's all I like. know. Please, we need help here. I'll get you help, but girl. I need to know. Where did the masked girl, person is, go? Serious, they left. They left him to bleed out. Dang. I she wanted him to suffer. They were gone, then dragged him into the garage and called 911. Wait, why didn't she make sure he was dead? I don't know. I, I think I heard them s say something like, it's not so funny now, is it? Before they left, but... I want him please, to suffer. He needs to get to the hospital. I can't drive, so we need an ambulance. Forrest, the ambulance was destroyed in the explosion at the gas station. You should get all the info you can. All right, where is he hurt? Can you tell us where your friend was stabbed? They stabbed him in the stomach. Oh, that's the worst one. And they stabbed him again in his leg when he was on the ground, and it's... He gonna oh, bleed out. Oh, the still there in his leg. What's your friend's Yo, name, she Casey? freaking out. Ah. Jason. Jason Parker. We'll be right back. Peggy, patch us through to the hospital. On it. Phoning St. Gabriel's now. Switch to line two. Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. How can I help you? Hey, she answered fast. Hi, I like that. Nash from 189.16. We have a stab victim at 25 Nancy Drive named Jason Parker. He's been stabbed in the stomach and the leg. He's bleeding heavily. Oh god, I'm sorry. But the ambulance is... well, you know. Yes. I know, but please, we need something or he's going to die. Forrest, I... listen, you're going to have to get him here. We need I to have see him drive? we can't get there ourselves right now. We don't have any way to drive him right now. And even if we did, he's bleeding out fast. All right. Listen, we need to buy him time to get here. That means stopping the blood first and then finding someone to stabilize him. Blood stabilize. stabilize. Him, you really need someone with first aid training. Okay. Do either of you have any? No. Me neither. Uh, damn it. I'm Why really can't sorry we just about patch this. all three? I have other patients who can't wait. Oh. All I can do is talk you through the procedure as quick as I can and then leave the rest to you. Okay, listen, listen, can handle listen. That? We can handle it, man. Hit me. I'm sure we can handle it. Okay, from the top. If he's bleeding out, then you need to get him comfortable and try to stem the bleeding. Lay him down. Apply continuous pressure directly to the affected areas. When the bleeding slows, get a clean cloth of some kind and hold it over the wounds. Get them comfortable. Apply pressure. Clean cloths when slowed. Got it. I think. You said he was stabbed, right? Yeah. If the object he was stabbed with is still in him, don't take it out. I know that one. I see a lot of movies and they the be like, don't take it out. Right now. If anything, you should secure it so it stays where it is. I wouldn't have thought of that. Wow. It makes sense, though. Movies, man. God, it's that was a lot of stuff. info. But I think we can handle this. Glad you got it so far, because there's more to go. More? He gone. Just hurry up. Doc. What else do we need to know? Forget everything. If he's lost a lot of blood, he may enter shock. Mm -hmm. If he does, act fast. If you apply the cloth and it's bleeding through, don't remove it. Just apply another on top of it. Okay. If it's safe, 
elevate his legs to get blood circulating to his vital organs. Try to keep him warm. Okay. Get him to rest and reassure him. We need the patient to stay calm. Stay calm. <sighs> All right. Uh, don't replace so don't bandages. Elevate his legs. Keep him warm and calm. Mm -hmm. This is a lot. I'm really sorry. That's as much as I can give you Why right now. Why can't they record this? Try to stop the bleeding. Find someone to get him stabilized and get him here as quick as you can. Good luck. All right, Forrest. Casey's still on line one. All right, come on, Casey. Let's do this. Hello? Hello? Forrest, are you there? Okay. How are you holding up? We're on our own. Casey, I have bad news. We're on our own for now. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Jason! Why the hell did not do anything? No, nah, Casey, no, she would have killed Casey, you. Casey, you did the right thing. You did the right thing. One, you gotta be from good. We at St. Gabriel's. We're gonna talk you through this. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank God! I've been putting pressure on his stomach wound since you left. That's but he's good. still bleeding. I don't know what to do. He's still bleeding. That's good, Casey. The nurse said to do that. What about the knife in his Keep leg? Keep it in there. It's gotta be hell. Should I pull it out? Don't touch the knife. No, don't touch the knife. The bleeding will get worse if you pull it out. Are you sure? I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop making suggestions. No, don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. We're all going to get Jason through this. Casey, is his leg wound bleeding right now? I hate looking at that knife. The yeah. knife? The blood for me? His stomach is worse, though. We need to secure the knife. I think we need to secure the knife so it doesn't move around. Do you have anything you can tie around it? Uh, yeah. There's some laundry piled up on top of the dryer. Some cloths on the hood of the car, and what else? I guess I've got my jacket. Mmm. Cleaning rags, no. Laundry, didn't you say it was dirty? Dirty? Jacket, nah. Cleaning rags, are they dirty? Let's do jacket. Sorry about this, Casey. I think it's best we use your jacket. It's probably less likely to bleed through. It's just a jacket. Give me a second. It's less Here likely we go. to bleed through. I don't know if I did I'm that sorry, right. Sorry, Jason. I don't know if I did that right, y'all. It's secure. I'm putting pressure on his stomach again. Okay, okay. I'm starting to think we might make it. Girl, First, don't do too much. Work? Now? Okay. It's... Casey. I'm gonna have a quick word with Peggy. Did I do something wrong? Keep putting that pressure on and let us know when the bleeding is under control. You're doing great. But what if something happens? We'll still be here. Just shout if you need anything and we'll be there. I promise. Okay. Oh, wait. Jason, please be okay. What, Peggy? What, 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 what? What's up, Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. Dawn is still out there. What if other people need us? She's right about that. You're right. She's right about that. She's probably on her way to her next target right now. Exactly. And you heard the nurse. We need someone there with training who can stabilize him. So we need to be able to He's call He's gotta get to the hospital somehow. That girl. Cause somebody nearby help. Can somebody nearby oh, What's help that girl's them? name? The one Maybe with drive the frat to the guy? Hospital? You know, that's exactly what I was wondering. Do you have anybody in mind? I might. A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training course. I've only ever called Karen. Everybody's personnel info is probably in Reggie's office. Got it. I'll look through their files in Reggie's office. It's a life or death situation. I'm sure they won't mind. Yo, Don. Dang, bro. I said it. I said, what if the whistling man is a woman? I told y'all. Y'all just don't want to listen to me. Maybe this will help. Could this be it? Oh, okay, so it wasn't his birthday. They got me. Nice. That's crazy. So he's a war medic? Who is this, John? Alright, so John's a war medic. And that we need. Because it is an emergency. Am I on the desk right now? Imagine. 
Hey, Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? I think I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. All right, good work. Who should I... Hello? Is anybody there? Please pick up! Casey, I'm here. What's wrong? It's definitely John. What's happening? He's what going to shock. God, it sounds like he's going into shock. Casey, just stay calm. It's going to be okay. But the police seem to slow down. Did I mess up? Jason, I'm sorry. Casey, calm down. You've done everything right. I I need you to listen to me, okay? For Jason. What did the nurse say to do about shock? Great question. I forgot. Um, elevate Jason's legs. Legs. Casey, I need you to elevate Jason's legs. We need to get the blood flowing yeah. to his vital organs. Got it, Jason. You know this helps. Since my best friend's a nurse, I'm so. I'm gonna move you. This might hurt. Okay. I propped his legs up on some boxes. I'm looking at my notes. We need to get Jason as warm Ooh. and comfortable as possible. Clutch, Peggy. Cause. Do you have anything you could use nearby, Casey? Yeah. Alright, well, Blast, we need to hurry. Jason doesn't sound like he's doing too well. You said you knew who to call earlier? Who was it? War medic, John. We need to call John Hedges. He lives on Nancy Drive. He didn't really participate in the first aid training, but he's a former war. I don't even look where they he's live. Probably the most trained I got person lucky. we have. I got so lucky because I didn't I never really spoke to him before. He's called war medic, huh? Yeah. And I did not look at where they live, notes, bro. John keeps all of his old equipment at his house. He's something of a hoarder. All right. What's his number? Uh, five Ooh, four two know. zero seven three five. Calling now. Let's help me pick. Uh, who the hell is this calling me? What time is it? John, it's Forrest Nash here at KFAM. We have an emergency and we need your help. Forrest, if this is a work emergency, then it can wait until the goddamn morning. Oh. I can't blame him, because what you calling me when I'm off the clock for? Uh, somebody has been stabbed. A man has been stabbed by the whistling man, or... Never mind. He's lost a lot of blood, and he's passed out. We need you to help him. The whistling man? What kind of joke I didn't mention the whistling man. This, that's why. I just wanted to say he just got stabbed. Right now. Seriously? The news will be like, this is such a job. I've been called on for over 10 years. Come on. Where's the Oh, he excited. He's at 25 Nancy Drive. I think we got his friend to stem the bleeding, but he's Yo, gone into he's shock. Yo, he's going back to he's his prime right days. Now. You say he was stabbed? Do you know the extent of his injuries? He and went to we shock. We were told he has two major stab wounds. Stomach one and to leg. the stomach and one to the leg. I pay the attention. still in his leg. And Shout the stomach his wound legs. is open. Understood. Let me grab a few supplies and I'll head right over. Thank you, John. Damned if he dies on my watch. Thank, Thank you, John. John. Well, let them know you're on your way. Good Let's go. Hello, Casey. Are you there? How are we doing? Bad. Jason seemed really weak and then just started thrashing. What about now? Is he still thrashing? He's passed out. Please tell me you found someone Yes, now. we got you, Casey. Casey, girl. help is on the way. My colleague will be there soon. I'm surprised Come he answered, because if I would have saw it was from the work phone, I definitely would have hung up. Yeah, John! That is what's up. Good luck, everyone. Oh, by the way, I filmed Don't Let Him In literally just before this game, and so be on the lookout for that um, Friday. Friday or Saturday. Probably Saturday. Let's roll. You got it. We've got another call coming through, too. Oh, we have another call coming in, but hang on. What's up, Peggy? Peggy? Yes? You're going to want to take this call off the air. It's what's the woman. Just do it. 
All right, folks, it's time for another Watch track. Just just do it. Here's one to help you sit back and relax. Okay. We'll be right back. We don't have this. time to be creative with music right now. Who, who, <sighs> who want to follow me? I hope this is good news, Peggy. Who have we got? Find out for yourself on line one. You sound happy. Hello? Forrest, I'm glad I got back. Yes, why did you say that? Like it's been a Come on, Peggy. Night, huh? Surprise! It's Leslie, our 911 operator. Fine, I forgot about her low key, high key edit. To come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? We're doing okay. Sarah and I are both happy to be here. Sarah, at that's a cool name. We're happy to have you Sarah. too. I... Wait, Sarah? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. Uh, anyway, we got back into What was that? <laughs> a while ago. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. What am I saying? Ever since you found Sheriff Matthews, it's only gotten worse. Ooh, that's no food it's cooking. It's been a long night. Well, it shouldn't be too much longer now. Yes. I'm glad I got through to you. I wanted to let you all know what's going on. I made it to Henderson. Yes, three for three! somebody had cut the phone lines, and they had no idea what was happening. After I told them, well, their sheriff sent a goddamn Four for four! four. I want to stop there for now, because... That's great news! I don't want to ruin my streak. That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Do you think the whistling man cut them? I'm guessing so. I don't know how he, how she, how the whistling man did it. Bro, well, well man. That doesn't matter right now. Listen, we're coming in hot, but we need your help. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town. Why are they moving? We don't moving? know where the whistling man is. We can't get him. Her. That's where you come in. Why was that? It was moving because of the paper. You can Haven't count we on us. Enough? No, for what real. do you need? It might be a long shot, but here goes. The whistling man already called up a few times. I bet she calls again. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Stall Buy her. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. Bet. While you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. Okay. We'll be okay. listening in, so once her location okay. is known, We'll head straight there and end this nightmare. I gotta take off my rings. I, I gotta get serious. You know how you usually put the rings on? I gotta take them off. I gotta get serious. Oh. I'll do my best. I know you will. Heck, I can see the headlines now. Forrest Nash's interview of a lifetime. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I'll we'll radio the water. other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Hopefully the next time I see you, it'll be you gotta show her. I just boss. I haven't watched her yet, so take care now. We'll see you soon, Leslie. Oh, thank God. It sounds like this is almost over. We're nearly through this. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. The sooner this is over, the better. Who died? I Who am died? right. Trust me. Roll a rookie. Anyway, doll. we should get you back on it. Murphy's air. dad. Taking callers is the only way to see this through. Okay. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Bro, Bring hey, you back live now. Welcome back to The hey, Scream sure, with me, me Forrest seconds. Nash. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next it caller, is? I just want to say, one. things are looking up. It's almost over. But for now, let's bring in our next caller. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. This is John Hedges. I'm here with Casey. Oh, I'll yeah. I'll give you an update on Jason. Thank you. John, is, is he going to be okay? He's a fighter. He'll be fine. We've got him stabilized and resting in a bed. We're preparing to move him to the hospital. Look at all these calls. Thank you so that much. That? If you hadn't been the there, then... Maze. God, I don't even want to think about, about what would have happened. Of course, Casey. One. We're There's just so happy he's okay. John, Casey, you two did all the work. Tell Jason to get well soon from us, whenever he's up for it. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? This forest. Oh, why do you sound like he good? Jason lives. You're welcome. The one and only. The one and only. I hope you're feeling better. It's good to hear you, oh, Jason. Peggy. How are you? How annoying you oh, are. Well, but you know. You're my girl, I guess. I've got a hole in my stomach, and there's a knife in my leg. But John gave me something to take the edge off, so I might feel even better than either of you. <laughs> <coughs> oh, calm down, Jason. Oh. Calm down. Take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. But uh, before that, I I needed to call you. I'm 
guessing the whistling man is still out there? Pause. Yeah. Yep. As far as we know, anyway. When is he coming here? That's what I'm scared of. you'd say that. God damn it. Actually, I'm glad you called. I wanted to talk to you about what happened earlier. Go for it. Casey said when you were attacked, your assailant said something like, It's not so funny now. Do you know what they meant? I do. And I've heard that voice every day in my head for almost 20 years. Every day? Does the killer live in Gallows Creek? No. Not exactly. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. Forrest, have you ever heard of somebody called George Barrow? The boy who drowned? Sounds like everything's finally coming out now. Give her side profile. It's been tough Sorry. to hold it all in. Sounds like you've been holding back about something awful, Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead, Forrest. And the few oh. who knew about it said if I ever said anything, I'd find myself in jail for a long time. Wow. It was hell. And then the town just moved on. Like he never existed. What happened that night? I went along with the stupid prank, that's what. Whistling night. Whistling night. guys on the football team had an idea So it's not the whistling man, it's somebody pretending to be the whistling man. the newcomers. We decided to plan a party in the woods. And have the whistling man crash it. It was stupid. We each had a role. I was the... Stabbed friend. At the party that night, I left the group for a second. Met our whistling man. Pretended to get stabbed in front of everyone. Started an almighty panic. Those screams. That was the last time I saw or heard George alive. What? How did George die, Jason? I don't know. I was playing dead. But when I heard her scream... Her? her? Yeah. George's girl. Do you remember who she was? Yeah. He called her Bean. She got her revenge. I heard her again tonight, Forrest. Wow. Her name was... What? Yo! Are we still on air? What is going on? No, we're not. Seems like the power is completely gone. Shoot. How do we get it back on? Let's join the ambiance. We gotta be dark. We got like ours went out too. An emergency broadcast? Emergency? You know, nuclear war, alien attack. What? Bear point. It's in the storage area in the far back corner, up on the wall. You might have spotted it earlier when you were digging around for all those tapes. I have to go in there? Red button. Just press Bro. Oh, see you when you're back. Bro, what? Alright, guys, so we're going back to that room. Oh, yeah, that last episode, yo, I was so tired. As y'all can see. Like, as you can see when I fell asleep, I was so tired. So I apologize. I didn't have, I didn't have enough energy. But now I got all the energy. I don't want thing these lights turned out. And I'm not liking that. And we obviously know the whistling man's in here, and I need Peggy to get out of her room and come with me. Whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. Peggy's safe. She's in that little room, bro. I can't run or sprint, y'all. So don't be telling us, Lila, run. I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. What the hell? What? Sephora, sprint, please. Forrest, please sprint. I, why did it just save just now? <gasps> oh no. Peggy, oh this is where you Peggy, where'd you go? <gasps> no way. This can't be happening. A call. 
This man's posted up waiting to kill me. Or she's posted up waiting to kill me. Where's Peggy? Where's Peggy, Don? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. Yo, this show went crazy. It's not over just yet. Yo, what? Got a little time still. Yo. So let's make the most of it. Yo, I'd rather not. I'd rather not if that's okay. <sighs> oh, Forrest. Huh? I thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special it's Peggy. Guest. The one who started it all. Oh, let me take that out of your mouth and... Wait! You crazy bitch! Let me go! Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallows Jr. Wait. What? It's all gonna come out. They're not Teddy. doing anything! That person... Your daddy and his money saved you 20 years ago. Money in the world. Wait, where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? That's what I'm saying. Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. I'm here with Teddy. Who is this? He says where that is. Well, he knows I'll get it. Then who's here? Wait, then who am I looking at? Who are you? Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallows Creek to my boy. Henry Barrow. That makes sense. He had a man build. This is a lot. I'm sorry. This, this is a lot to take in. You've got no idea. A lot. So there were two whistling men tonight. Of course. That explains how you were always able to get around town so quickly. And that's how you escaped the secret archives in the newspaper office. Don't think I've forgotten about that, Forrest. Oh. Locking my sweet boy away like an animal. Hang on. Did you say Barrow? Who's Teddy? Is he that government guy, Are that you? politician? Let me just get this mask off. Damn uncomfortable thing. <gasps> she was pregnant when her boyfriend died. Crazy wearing this. <sighs> there we go. Marie? Marie Campbell? George's old girl. Oh. Well, it sure has been years since I last saw him. Oh, God damn it. I mean, I never liked the guy, so I could care less. I'd be quiet if I were you, Teddy. But I... I'd listen to Forrest. Yeah. Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. This night. 20 years ago. Listen to me. You... Ah! You're gonna talk when I talk to you. And not a moment before. Meanwhile, Forrest, I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. Okay, okay I'll Marie. Just do it, bro. I'll do it. Good. Then let's talk about the so night. This is George how we're gonna stall her. Remember, we gotta stall her. I don't know where Peggy's at, but hopefully Peggy's thugging her. Uh, she's gonna have to thug. Oh. Dang. Oh, she got that bag I on said her. How she when you're hit him like that? <sighs> a grown man. Now, I know you've done some good work tonight in piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. And that's why I want you to interview us. I can do that. Interview you? Uh, all right. Uh, I can do that. Thank you. I want you to help me and Teddy tell the story, Forrest. Do a good job. And hell. You might be the only one to leave here alive. Only one? What about Peggy? Man, they like the girl, but can't kill Peggy. I need to drag this out. Who done? I can buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek. And if I can find out where Marie is, is that speak button, then Mom? this can end. Teddy, we'll start with you. Just uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 years ago. Do you want to die, bro? Do you want to die, Teddy? Because if you don't, start talking. Uh, what the hell? God damn Oh, I'm supposed to be stalling. I'm trying to help him out, okay. but... Our first team party was coming up. And when I saw the date it was scheduled for, I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. Somewhere. What made that night special? That was the night Mooney went missing. We 
couldn't you pass stall. it up. I was questions. just surprised. No one had ever thought to do it before. Wait. You mean this was the first whistling night? I... Wow. Uh... Keep talking, Teddy. We went up near Whistling Point. Uh... God. Who was there? Me, Jason, and George. Why did he flip the couch? I just realized that. But what is he... George For didn't what? come alone. He brought Marie. About midway through the night, we put the prank into action. We looked up at the trees and saw Jason there, bloody, like he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man, <laughs> screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left behind. Wait. Ricky was there? Roller Ricky? He was. And he was in on the whole thing. How did you know that Ricky was in on it? Teddy and Ricky were as close as anybody. I can't believe for a second that Ricky didn't know the plan. I never told him. Damn it! If Ricky had told us. Wait, he just said he never told. Us. What if he never told Ricky? He and George would both what if be alive delusional? still. Hmm. Well, if Ricky weren't dead, we could have heard his side of the story. It was just a I stupid know. prank. I know, Forrest. You got him killed. How can you still say it was just a prank? Oh, come on. I... Oh, oh Teddy, I, I don't know what to tell you, my boy. You made George think Jason had been murdered. I don't know why she killed everybody else. Best friend you? was dead. And so tonight you stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, Marie. Period. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding and got him professional help just, just in, in time. time. Period. Oh. Well, shame he didn't have the good sense to die earlier. He's gonna regret that. Enough about him. I don't know why for so much. Took off running. Stupid. Somehow Stupid, we got what? separated in the woods. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point. And when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then, I don't know how he snuck up on me, but the Whistling Man grabs me. I scream, and he starts laughing. Tell me this. It's just a joke. I can stall for time here. Yep. How did you feel? How did you feel in that moment? I felt like nothing was real. I felt small and confused. She got her son in all this. That's crazy. Who was under the mask, Marie? Who was the whistling man? It was Chuck. Chuck Brody. Chuck Brody. Who's laughing that? away. But then he stops. And he's looking up. At the top of Whistling Point. What was he looking at? <laughs> Teddy, what happened next? Nothing. I mean, it was just... Teddy? George fell off Whistling Point. Why'd he fall? Why'd he fall, Teddy? He just... You pushed him. You were up there. You were dressed as the Whistling Man too, and I didn't it push him. God damn it! I just chased him up there. So both of them are dressed as a Whistling Man. Just how she's doing. Backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar! It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a joke. If he would had any brains, he would have realized. <laughs> you bitch. No and he's a politician. Who is Chuck Brody? After all you did. If she's lying, why the cover up? My future was at stake, Nash. Yes. You know what it's like. People like us are bred for politician, bigger things. Though. Why do you always be the dirty I'm going ones? To be here with this town, Forrest. And then governor. And then, who knows? What happened that night 
was tragic. It should never have happened. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke gone wrong. So my father sent Clive out to clean it up. Why? Who the freak is Tugborn? I know he's on that club board. Let's see, I'm about to go see George him. was a... What? That's an... evil thing to say, Teddy. That's the way it is. My father agreed with me. You never found his body, Murray? I looked all night. Jogger found him the next morning, washed up on the river. Instead of telling the truth, she lied. She said she found him in the reservoir. Our jazz runner, Sandra Sharp. <gasps> Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Yo! Wrote a fake report. Can we say that I George mean, was doing She still is her die, though. That he just got but that is wrong. Into trouble. And fake report? I, I only heard the tapes. You'd be disgusted by it. For all it's worth, Virginia didn't have much of a choice. She had a sick sister whose treatments she couldn't afford. That's she true. played along That's... with the gallows to save her sister's life and her own. Even, even still, she should have told the truth. No, because if that I was your son who was sick, she would do the same I thing. I hate when people say that. I even went to the newspaper. When your family's but in danger. No, you, you don't do anything. Killed the story. We'll take care of Maurice Russell later. Oh, everybody was in on everybody we saved. Yo, what? You've been oh, through man. hell, Marie. I'm sorry. Come on, you make it sound like we're on her no side. Idea. We gotta be on her side. Started. I'm not, you know what? Yeah, kick him around a little bit. We gonna save him, but he will kick around a little bit. Save. He's coming to a stop. At least for now. Here. Where George and I first met. Before he joined the football team. When right after he shot the winning throw. Wait a sec. Oh. oh. Frack. Frack. Can you hear me open up the thing? Where is Marie holding Teddy hostage? He is scaring me. He's scaring me right now. Um. I was paying attention! Um, uh, where is Marie holding Teddy hostage? And I heard some of the football team. You're at the football field. Jesus Christ! Forrest, you idiot! We're in the gym at Gallows Creek High! Sorry. I told you not to do that. Wait! <laughs> so it didn't matter, because if we yelled... He's... dead too now, isn't he? He is. Anyway, I think that about wraps up the interview with Teddy. So... Marie? Where? <gasps> oh my god. Are they both Peggy. in here? Teddy! What? No. Peggy. It's been so long since I've seen your face. I worried you wouldn't come. And here I was, thinking you'd forgot me. I'd never forget my own sister. Sister? Sister? Peggy, what, what's happening? Why are you even there? Wanna explain, Peggy? Earlier... While you were speaking to Jason, I got a call. Do you remember? I remember. Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. And when you walked in, you found out. That my sister... And your nephew's looking at me. The whistling man. Good to see you too, Peggy. Why didn't you tell me any of this? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me or come with me when we need you on the radio. And I just... You should have said something. You should have told me. I know, okay? I should have. But I didn't imagine this situation then, so just... What happened to you, Marie? Disappeared one day. Disappeared. I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged mom and dad to do something about what happened that night. Oh, but did they care? No. They don't want to stay quiet. 
Oh, Maurice was a reporter. He didn't report the facts. I've been with George and you. And, uh, and she was pregnant. Marie, I'm so sorry. I never knew. It's not your fault. And she threw all your sister's really, records. Really, it's mom and dad I should be seeing right now. But since they're dead, gone, well, I'll have to settle for the next best thing. <gasps> you kill your sister? I... Wait. Is that why you went after that kid in the maze maze? Uh, Eugene Stein? Because his parents? That's right. Eugene's parents were there that night, too. Wow. They got themselves killed in a bus accident. But he and did nothing. Okay, yeah. She, she's 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 please. Mom and Dad are gone, Peggy. Besides, you forgot me. You're worse than them. Just like the rest. Forgot. Is there any way I could prove Peggy didn't forget Marie? I don't know. Forest. A picture. Who's this? Who's this? Yes, I got it. <coughs> Marie, Peggy never forgot Ooh, about sorry. you. Keep your mouth shut. She kept a card from you. She, she kept it here on her desk. What card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. What does it say then? Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love, M. I. I... Sorry, Peg. Henderson, police! Freeze! No! Yes! Henry, get out of there! Oh my god! Ah! Oh my! Peggy! Don't come in here! One wounded, one dead, and we're in pursuit of the suspect. Henderson, please! Freeze! I'm Lawrence. frozen! Leslie, uh, how's Peggy? I'm froze. She's been cut pretty bad, but we're here now. Yo, he left that way! I'll be okay. God, Marie! Bro, what the hey, freak is Sarah. going on? I need you to look after Peggy. She needs help. Now, we got here just in the nick of time. Where's Marie? She bolted right as we got here. The police like are right son. on her heels. It won't be long now. It's over, Forrest. Well, folks, it was a long night, but we made it through together. We made it through together. I'm gonna head off to go check on Peggy. This has been Forrest, Forrest Nash. Can I just sign off? It's been a scream. We gotta end it off in a comedic way. Good night and good morning. Let's make tomorrow. No, it's been a scream. And it's been a scream. <laughs> a scream. The man that missed the scream. Hey. Hey. Oh. Okay. So Chuck Brody, don't know who that guy is. I forgot. Roller Ricky, RIP, man. Murphy. That was the saddest one. But I didn't understand why he died. She didn't explain. What? So, but we saved a lot of people. Like, we we only lost four people. Teddy Gallows Jr., I think he was just going to die. Like, I don't understand how we were going to save him, but whatever. But we saved so many people, bro. Like, we did that. We freaking ate. So, thank you guys so much for watching. <sighs> Man, that was so, so, so good. Peggy's sister's the whistling man. Her, she got a nephew. The nephew's also the whistling man. Teddy Gallows Jr. is the one who killed her dude, her boo. Uh -uh, Lee. Charlie, you can't tell me that game wasn't great. Thank you guys so much for watching Killer Frequency with me. I can't believe it's over. Like, I don't have a series to like go back to and just go, oh, here we go, play another part. Like, it's over. <sighs> it's over, guys. Make sure to look out for Don't Let Him In. It will be in the next couple of days. I decided to do a double upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Kai's Chaos, where I play games, and well, the games play me. Deuces. <sighs> and I'll see you next time. And. It's been a scream. It's growing stronger inside of me. It's a killer frequency.